Welcome to online class. In today's class, we are going to discuss new lesson that is knowing about plant genome. Knowing about plant means we are going to know plant parts and its functions. Children, children understanding plant parts and functions. We are going to discuss children. Children. Children, I think you may you may watch several times at near your home or at your surroundings or if you visit any park you will see there many several types of plants children many several types of plants if you pluck any of the plant from the soil and if you notice the plant observe if you observe carefully. You may find several parts of the plant children. That's all, children. Okay, you collect some of the plants like the children, like four or five plants. If you keep them on a table and if you observe carefully, are all the plants similar to each other or different? Children, like human beings are different to one another, like the plants also different from one another children. They are not similar. They are not at all similar children. Understand children? Okay, if you collect any kind of plant, you can notice most of the parts will be present on the plants. But they are not similar to another plant. If you take the plant of a mango, that it is not similar to the plant of a neem or neem tree or papaya plant like the children. Understand children? So, each and every plant has the parts, but they are similar to each other children. So, first one, we are discussing plant parts and their functions children. Understand children? Plant parts and functions. Children, like our human body contains a large number of parts. Yes or no children? We will discuss sensory parts like eyes, ears, next nose, mouth, tongue. These are all what? Sensory organs. Children, okay, this is the part. This is one of the sensory part. What is this? Eye. And eye has a function, children. That's all, children. Eye has a function. What is the function of the eye? It is used to watch, watch, or to look, or to see. That is the function of the eye, children. Then what is the function of ear? Ear is a part. And what is the function of the ear? To hear, to hear sounds, what you do. If you say anything, I will hear. With the help of my sensory organ, that is nothing but ear children. And nose, nose is used to sniff, sniff the smell. Understand children, like uh, our human body contains a large, mass, a large number of parts in our body, like two plants also contains plant parts. Children. And each and every part has their own function children. Understand children? Each and every plant has parts and their own functions children. Right one, we use it to do one activity children. That is activity one. Activity one, identifying. Identifying plant parts children. Plant parts children. This is the activity for you. You collect four or five plants children near your surroundings or your home surroundings. You find four or five plants, then observe each and every plant where it contains all the parts which are going to which I am going to write here, children. Serial number one. And here is the plant name. And the next section contains root. Other one. Then next branch, stem, branches, or it contains whether flowers or not. Children, here no branches to write as leaves. Leaves, children. You know all plant contains leaves. That's all, children. These are the these are the 
basic parts of each and every plant children to try to write the for the five plants children try to collect five plants and write the plant name for suppose i am writing the example one children mango if i take the mango plant and whether it contains roots or not yes it contains mango plant contains roots and it contains stem yes children it contains stem yes and leaves no leaves so it also contains leaves yes flowers yes before getting a fruit you will observe flower from mango tree children so yes like that if there is no presence of any part of a plant you write just no as this understand children try try to write the names for five plants children understand children identify plant parts you just collect five different uh, types of plants and write roots stems leaves and flowers like this sections wise and try to write the plant name root whether it contains root or not or stem or not leaves or not or flowers or not children understand children next uh, we will discuss the first part of a plant children first part of a plant children if i ask you what is the major part in your body what is the major part in your body you will say it's a brain yes correct like that here also plant contains the which is the basic part of a plant's growth or plant's survival then nothing but the root children root r r r o o t root children root is nothing but the underground part the underground the underground part of a main axis main axis of the plant okay plant the underground part children this is not part the underground part children p a r t part the underground part of the main axis of a plant is for a root children okay children roots roots acts as a basic it is a basement children as i know if you want to get we are seeing just stem leaves branches flowers and fruits we are not able to see the roots which are present in the underground that is nothing but in the soil itself children so there are two types of roots children two types of roots there are two types of roots the first one is tap root the first type of root is tap root and the second type of root is fibrous root children fibrous root children tap root and fibrous root children if it, if you take any kind of plant that it should be contain only this types of roots children that is whether tap root or fibrous root children children we will continue in the next class children regarding this food with clear explanation what is tap root and what is fibrous root children thank you children